Two days left before the amazing fight where Terence Crawford is going to face David Avenison. A lot of fans are expecting the fight Terence Crawford vs Errol Spence Jr. There are two main stars in the welterweight at the current time. Both fighters are now defeated. Errol holds three main belts. WBA, WBC and IBF. Terence Crawford currently is a WBO champion and has a record of 38 wins and no losses. According to the conversation, the promoters decided to make the fight between Errol Spence and Terence Crawford. But currently, they couldn't make an agreement. And David Avenesian is going to try to ruin the plans to make the fight real of both fighters and their prime. This fight will happen 10th of December of this year. And right now, we're going to break down and predict this fight on our channel. Of course, the smart boxing fans are understanding that Terence Crawford is going to fight with Errol Spence and he must prepare for him properly. Some time ago, Cal Brook, a British fighter who had all chances to become a pound-for-pound -pound number one boxer or pound-for-pound -pound boxer at least, had 36 wins and no losses. He was a champion of IBF in the welterweight. And of course, for making him a superstar, the promoters decided to make a super fight for him with Gennady Golovkin, who also had 36 wins, but Gennady is from the middleweight. 66 and 72. Somebody can say that this is not so huge difference. Forgetting about the weight cut and the receiving of punches, because the middleweighters are striking different than welterweighters. Just have a look at the fight Gennady Golovkin against Canelo Alvarez for the third time. One it was in the super middleweight. It was obvious that Canelo cutting the weight too much. That's why he was exhausted in their two first fights. And when he became a light heavyweight fighter, he couldn't do nothing against Dmitry Pifel and won the WBO belt when he fought against Sergei Kovalev. That fight wasn't ended by a finish. And when Cal Brook decided to fight for the first time with so powerful boxer on his prime, completely lost his career because he passed a breakpoint and got elder after fourth round. Michael Bisping said that the fighter can accept a limited quantity of punches and later the body will recover improperly. And the speed is disappearing at the jaw as well. Just have a look how Cal lost the fight to Errol Spence and Terence Crawford. So he decided to finish a career after the last victory against Amir Khan. Or how Arturo Gatti started to lose after three losses when he stopped being a slaughterman. Terence Crawford wants to have somebody for the preparation for that fight, who is something around champions, but not so strong as Errol Spence. That's why he chose to beat Evanison for that fight. To see who is to beat Evanison, let her look at the fight against Josh Kelly. Josh Kelly is a British boxer who started his pro career in 2017 and made a lot of fights in 2017, 18 and 19. That's why this fighter deserved some attention and that's why promoters decided to lead him. He even won a WBA international welterweight title for that fight after the world pandemic when the countries finally started to open the sport gates for the limited quantity of viewers. David Ivanison, a russian armenian fighter, was chosen for that fight. But if Kelly thought that he did another one walkthrough fighter, David prepared for that fight like for the last one. And that's what happened in the ring. First of all, Josh Kelly is working by the forward arm down. That's what David decided to use. He decided to strike straight to the hip body. Because the boxer is working in Philly like Floyd Mayweather. Usually those fighters are waiting for the opening of their opponent. And they're making the counter punch by series. Exactly what Floyd Mayweather loves to do. Exactly what Juwanta Davis loves to do. Exactly what Josh Kelly loves to do. David decided to work straight to the body. He's making not so strong series to the head, but his strikes very hard to the body.
Justin Maluko caught him David in the first part of the second round until Josh turned on his animal in the middle of the round and almost killed David. And what happened next? Josh thought that he took the fight and even started to boxing in the fourth round by hands down. Because of an Asian, was a weak fighter how he thought, and in the sixth round, when David finally got tired because of his explosions, and David slowed down his reaction according to his game plan, started literally kill Josh in the sixth round by every single punch, and here is the finish. Looks like a great game plan, and it was say his last fight after the loss when he won the European title. They all were ended by knockout. He had a very small percentage of the knockout, but right now he became a real threat. But Terence Crawford is a very smart boxer, and to make the same game plan how last to do David when he is striking the opponent's head without masking his strikes, Crawford will punish him. Let's take as an example the fight Terence Crawford vs Amir Khan. Right from the first round, we can see that. Terence is waiting for the attack, and as we found out already, David's last to work as the first number, how he did exactly in the fight with Josh Kelly. That's what's called a high IQ. Terence is really smart boxer. Both fighters will be the same age if we will try to find something from the training process of Crawford. He's not showing or work. He can strike the pads, at least for the reporters because the smart fighters are not showing his process of preparation. But as we can see in the fight with Cal Brook and Amir Khan, Crawford will work at the second number. The first will be Davis' defense, because in this fight, he caught Amir in the very first round and he was knocked down. The same what happened with Cal Brook. David has a very close fighting style as those two fighters but Terence started to miss a lot, so the question number two will be Terence's reaction, because he started to lose it. We saw that in the fight with Adios Kulkowskis. Of course he finished him, but he missed a lot. The fight against Sean Porter, which was last year, he also missed a lot, and could finish him only in the tenth round. Of course Sean was a very strong fighter, but we can see now that his career is a step from ending because he can't pass around top fighters and David will strike really hard. And if Crawford will survive first five rounds at least by not receiving a lot of damage, he will take the fight. But if Terence will be knocked down at least twice, probably he will pass his pick and David will make another upset. Just have a look at the fight of Vasily Lomachenko vs Tofimo Lopez. Vasily always preferred to work in the second number, not as a counter-puncher, but he sees the attack first, and later he works according to the received information, and he couldn't do nothing to Tofimo Lopez, because he simply lost his reaction. The number one question will be the reaction of Terence Crawford, and according to this thing, David and Venison will build his game plan in the ring, it's impossible to prepare a counter game plan for Crawford because he can work on two sides, southpaw and orthodox. He can be a presser and defender. This is a boxing IQ. That's why he is still undefeated. Both fighters face the same Lithuanian fighter, and if David missed everything and was technically finished and gave to work, and later finished Lithuanian fighter. So how this fight will happen, let's predict. Technically, Crawford will be Josh Kelly number two for David, but if Josh underestimated David and boxed by far arm down, Crawford will defend himself and David will raise his hand and he will work at the second number. He is opening the body and Terence will strike to the body from the sides because of Anesian is almost not protecting his body. Terence loves to strike from the side of the opponent and if he will reach a couple times his sides, body, liver, kidneys, or he will find his ear. Right from the second round, Terence Crawford will work at the first number and here David will be trapped because he is working smart when Crawford 
is their first number. He will strike from different angles because his main task will be to disorientate Avanyasan. He must not understand from which side the strike will be next. That's how David's processor will be overloaded. The same would happen in the fight with Usyk when he fought against Joshua. When Usyk simply overloaded Joshua's brain and he got tired when he received the punches from the far distance, but from different angles. But here Crawford will do the same at a close distance. According to the game plan, which loves to do Terence, he will give to work David in the third round, of course to give him spans his power. And if David will be a very slow in the third round, he will be finished exactly in the third or fourth round at least. If David will be fresh, the fight will be ended in the sixth or tenth round. Because I think Tone's game plan will be one round of striking from different angles, how he loves a very close distance, because David hates close distance. And later, the round when David is spending the power, so that will be the victory of Tone's Crawford.